fantastically. Yeah, for sure. They're in the final back-to-back -back seasons as well against Fnatic. And, and for Complexity, I mean, this has been a, a great team to watch. Obviously, on Laners, they have had their troubles online. They have struggled in these online games. But winning back-to-back -back home sweet home cups while stuck in Europe here has actually uh, put them in a very good spot. They've beaten a lot of good teams. And right now, they're looking to add Mal Sports to the tally. Can they do it, though? It's going to be a big question. Look at this pistol buy. Mouse Sports have no Kevlar on the CT side of Inferno. They've gone for full utility. Four HE grenades, two CZs, a kit on Wox, That's three wild. smokes. This That's is despicable. Wild. Yeah, I haven't seen a CT buy like this. So ever. what Fnatic do a lot is 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 they will do what Frozen and Mal uh, and Carrigan are doing on the B bomb site. And they'll essentially play retake on B with double nades, and they'll need the coffins when the planter goes for it, and then set up for a really quick retake. Mouse Sports aren't doing that. They're playing in the site. But they are at least taking you know similar ideas from that sense. Yeah, this is still a very heavy amount of utility, and let's see if this little uh, we'll call it the fanatic setup over at B is going to work. The nades do more than their fair share of damage. My word, Carrigan now with softened up targets ahead, not actually able to find anything. It's poison to deal with him. Frozen, almost, almost getting that trade, but not quite. Damage has been done. All these nades have been thrown, and the first two nades look stellar, but these next two that have gone out, you don't really have anything to show for if you're mouse sports, and all this utility is now gone. So, ooh, ooh, wow. it's the mode down. Yeah. Uh, this is the complexity I wanted to see today, Harry. I'm not going to lie. Like, very confident pissed around, everyone fighting. And those CZs, I, I thought they were going to be really, really good for mouse balls, but stuck in retakes, stuck in post parts, they are not the guns you want to be you know, clearing sites back up with. And Glocks, USPs, Crossfires, Config with two. That's an excellent pissed around for complexity. Config has really been on a tear. He has been unbelievably good for this team as of late. And so I think that's going to be the biggest threat to mouse balls' success in this series. Still the favorites, no doubt about it. But complexity, they aren't sleeping at the wheel today. Pissed round taken on Inferno on their map pick here in the series. And Rush, he's going to drop walks and getting aggressive in ult as well. Rops is going to follow, and he will succeed in his attempt. Config naded down to nine. Good grenades from Mouseport to put complexity on the back for at least a little bit. Mouseport still only have a solo B player in the form of uh, Frozen with a smoke. One lurk in apartments might hit all of these rotations here from Mouse Sports, but the timing is bad. Rops has just moved in, and nice shot. Rops, man, he won't stop. He's on his second. Complexity wanted to go A. Now they have to commit into the stack. Yeah, it's going to be Frozen and Chris J here to try and hold on to this B bomb site, and they do have a bit of a crossfire. There's this one way through smoke throwing down. And that's going to give a bit of a gap for Frozen to peek through. Now we have the utility for complexity. Config looking like he wants to lead the charge. And at nine points of health, that's quite the risk to run. But maybe not. Yeah, maybe he's just <laughs> going to shut down Frozen immediately. Chris J can't find anything through the smoke. Or through the wall, despite his best attempts. And this might be the second round on the board for complexity. Rops has done a good job of getting it close. But just him left now in the clutch, he would need to ace this in a 1v3. Yeah, there was so much util for complexity that they can just go for two executes there on B, right? They lose Oboe and Apartments after they throw a volley of utility towards the, uh, the B bomb site. That close wall smoke and the CT smoke. Mouse sports don't do anything, it goes silent. And complexity, who were going to just back off after throwing those fake util, just recommit. They wait 10, 15 seconds, they wait for Mouse sports to start, you know, realizing the complexity could be anywhere on the map. And then, you know, coffin, CT, re smoke down. By the second wave and complexity just burst into the bomb site. Another strong round for Config with three kills. And uh, considering he was put down to nine in the opening set, uh, seconds of that round, that's a pretty impressive one for him. Rob's though, big D shots in this one. It doesn't really have too much weight in the round, and Mouseport still won't be buying. So complexity, a chance to go 3 0 up. Do they realize that though? Yes, okay, good. But the guns will be brought up. There were a couple of Glocks in play. I was wondering, you don't want to take that risk against a mouse sports who love to put money into these rounds. They've got grenades, they've got util, they've got a Mac 10 of uh, ROPS. Certainly a way mouse sports can at least make this round expensive for complexity. Or even more so. Obo, his turn now, but will he be ready for just how many players lie in the apartments? Well, actually, they don't. They've actually run on out. They've escaped. The rest of Complexity setting up outside of B and Mao's. Look at this. They have really called for this rotation one by one. 
They rotate around towards this B bomb site. And they will have this four-man stack here. Now, if you're complex, you've still got a minute. You don't need to commit to this push just yet. But it feels like they're going to. Oboe's left the apartment, and so giving up all that control means complexity. They're going to go for this B play. Right. Do you check the boost. They do deal with Frozen. Oboe, Poison, and Config all getting kills in a matter of moments. And so this is going to be the round going in favor of complexity. Rops is going to try and hold on it to a Mac 10. Yeah, you can see how quickly Complexity tried to run away from Rops there, right? He pushes ult and he gets a kill in that, in that, with that Mac 10 rather, and Complexity immediately on the minimap just just run, just sprint away back towards B. And luckily that was empty. There was only Carrigan there for Mouseports. And while Mouseports throw in a full rotation, Blame, I like that entry work, right? He jumps, he checks you know, not only the, the close boost, but the second Oranges boost and the new box boost very safely. And then he looks towards the CT boost where Frozen sits. Uh, you know, those rounds only really fall apart when you don't check the, the CT boost inside of the spawn because, you know, a player can let two players cross, get all that information, see the bomb, and then take two, three kills at times even with pistols it can be so valuable so big check from blame he doesn't let mouse Force get away with that eco round and now after a couple of bleeders we're gonna have mouse Force finally investing even so mark six on the awp and we're not gonna have one yet out for complexity so that's certainly gonna be exciting to watch rob's still taking his mac 10 i don't blame him he's looked very warm in the three rounds that we've seen him play let's see how this mac 10 works out for him Early on, Frozen and Carrigan are certainly looking to extend down the banana a little bit. They really want to try and take over this side of the map. Made him respond, and that's going to bring Carrigan down very low in the early stages of this round. Still only Carrigan over here towards B. And that's even as this top banana area has been taken away from mouse boards. You'll see that Woxic on the minimap there is now rotated over into this speedway position. But with no one inside of the A bomb site, Woxic is still, uh, sorry, no one inside of the A bomb site looking long. Woxic is still forced to hold speedway. So he's not going to be available on like an instant rotation here. And this means Carrigan, he's got to hold the line because this push looks like it's going to come on through. Woxic Ooh. has begun to rotate round and now he meets up with Carrigan and CT. Nice. Bit of damage done, but still no kills. And CT control taken here by Complexity. Woxic in this smoke, and he's trying to play around with it, but to no avail. Bomb plant found, and a four on three in the post plant. Poison, there we go. He does get it eventually. I don't really know how, but he does. He just tap taps Harry and hits both shots, and then he just bursts and finishes off the job. Like, what? Okay. Dear, oh dear. Complexity, that's a clean round. That's a fourth found, and that's a free orb gifted. Oboe's even going to drop it. Does he save it, or does he throw it out the map here? Do Complexity want that in this T side? That's a question. <laughs> He's trying to give it to Poison. Oi, take it. There we go. Finally, we'll pick it up and escape towards a spawn. Complexity go 4 0 up. And I, I think it's it's good to see them feeling confident on Inferno, right? This has been a very uh, safe map for Complexity for some while now. They've always picked into it. They've been really good. They've taken down some of the best teams in the world on this map. And, you know, at the same time, while they've had highs, they've also had lows. Think about the EU minor qualifier that Complexity played in. They, they lose their BO3. They're qualifying BO3 in the third map to smash on Inferno, a map that, that Complexity certainly should have won. But as said earlier, they've had troubles online. Right now, those troubles are not apparent. 4-0 up. Rops is almost ecoing with just a deagle. We see Mouseports do this a lot. Chris is, is commonly a player who does this, just runs a pistol, specifically the deagle, into a rifle round, looking for a free upgrade, trying to save some money. And I kind of like it. The deagle is so powerful right now that, you know, you can't get a, a value out of it. Blame, he's going to catch Carrigan pushing down. Carrigan didn't realize the logs was controlled. And grenades back for Blame to try and keep Frozen back. He should retreat. No utility towards B. Mouseports three on five right now. And Complexity don't even need to play aggressive. Look how passive this mid setup is between Rush and Obo. What that will mean is Mouseports can gamble towards B with three. And that's a really safe call considering how consistently Complexity have executed into this site.
It's a have big boy gamble, isn't it? It really is. Have now. we had five B rounds? I was just trying to... Uh, sorry for butting in, Harold. Four no, B rounds. Because um, I was wondering yeah, why Lars doing this stack. It's based off of four in a row for complexity. Yeah, you fully understand why they've done it. But this bomb has already edged its way out into mid. And Obo, him just holding on to this top mid control. He never saw, never heard anything that would have alluded to players being present here. And so they've just slid right into A. For Mouse Sports, you're bang on, Hugo. It's just been these endless B plays. So they're pretty right in the assumption to just stack this B site. However, in this one instance, Complexity have decided to go towards A. And that is the effect of conditioning your opponents. I think if you're Complexity there, you're kind of anticipating that in this three on five, if you were going to put more bodies towards either bomb site, if you're Mouse, you've only seen B plays. You've only had to worry about B plays. So you're going to do it at B. And they read that. Yeah. They now go towards A. They'll get this fifth round on the the board and while three players stay alive that's actually all right for mouse they get another chance at the buy in this round here and now it's helped out by rocks only playing the deagle in this round so he's able to invest chris could drop one over to carrigan you get another chance here if you're mouse but this is already a great t-side start for strikes yeah, and I think, you know, for all in-game leaders who, who like T-Side Inferno, the, the call has got to be there for Blame. He's ready for that round. The Mouse Sports are going to triple stack B, and he can elevate the pace on A, right? With all these B conditioning rounds, it's always such a good call. I don't know if that will happen in the short term, though, because Mouse Sports have been taking banana control in these rifle rounds, right? Complexity, often defaulting mid and apps, coming back to B later in the round. So it's not like, you know, Mouse Sports have the need to stack B early, and they're not going to do it. So, yeah, back to another standard round here for Complexity. They've got the AWP on Poison, Woxic flashed out of middle early, can't take that fight, and Poison owns the middle area. Mouse boards succeed with a bit of a banana utility, but they don't put too much stake in it. They actually hold a double nade setup towards B, throwing it in late, finding nothing. Complexity want that A site, and they will flash their way through middle. Oh, and Woxic blinded off the angle, not able to connect a shot. Now it's to just go through the motions, backs up to Arch. He goes through each and every little firing position. He'll take a shot here. And now likely fall back and just hold down this angle. He's going to move into library to keep an eye on long. The top mid control taken for complexity. And you can see how resistant mouse sports are for the idea of rotating, right? Just because so many of these rounds have opened up with a bit of mid control taken by complexity and then falling back into a B play. But that's not looking like the case this time around. There's no one holding on to banana. And Rops is going to spot the... Uh, the armada of complexity players over its short side, but it might not matter. The site's already fallen. It's a four on three. Once again, the man advantage for complexity. And it might just have to be another save call for Mouse Sports. The old, like, kind of jokey name for these guys on Inferno was Save Sports, because they used to love a save on this map. Well, here they are, Hugo. Yep. Saving on this map. Funny how that works, Harry. Worth noting, Mouse Sports are on a six loss streak on Inferno. A map they rarely play anywhere or rarely pick into is a better way of saying it. And those losses, I mean, some of them, you know, understandable. Against Astralis twice, Fnatic once. Some of them less so. Movie Star Riders, Contact, OG, they got 16 2'd by. So it doesn't bode well for Mouse Sports in this best of three series to see Inferno come through, especially with, you know, the question mark that the analyst brought up of Dust 2 being the next map. Yes. Best map for mouse balls in terms of, of the numbers, in terms of you know maps played and, and win rate. But complexity also love that map, and so you're just playing into their favor. Again, we've seen complexity beat top teams on Dust Two. So mouse balls, they've been a top team. They've been at the top uh, indeed in 2019. But right now they've really had their troubles coming into this year, at least after Pro League. Damn, Robs and Frozen, Clutch Kings for the side of Mouse Sports. Right now, they need anything they can get, but as is often the case on Inferno CT side, you're not going to get many clutches off because if a bomb gets planted, it's save time. It's shame time for Mouse Sports. And now they've pulled their investments, they pulled their cash, and they will be buying back up into round number seven. Complexity yet to drop around on this T side, and they have no plans of doing that now. Oh, that nade does a lot of damage into top mid, but Robs is going to get out of there. He's kind of realized what's coming his way. And Complexity, they have really kicked this round up a notch. Now, in amongst all of this, woxic has got aggressive into the apartment. Frozen's pushed down the bottom of mid. So Mouseports, they know what's going on. They know what's coming their way. 
but it's not helped them in the grand scheme. Thankfully, that kill from Ooh. Walkstick and the follow-up has now put it in their advantage. And Mouse Sports might be about to get their first round here oh, and now. Blame F in the clutch, and he's not able to find Walkstick up in the apartments. This fast apps play from the Turkish Orpa yields some results for Mouse Sports. He's going to put that first round up on the board. Coming back in from deep second mid, he'd gone all the way through the apartment. Ooh. That was a sick flick at yeah. the end, man. It didn't look that good from Blame F's perspective, but dude, seeing it from Woxic, that was nuts. All right, let's go. Yeah. I absolutely, man, like Woxic was always a great AWP. You know, I absolutely love that he's found success uh, in international lineups towards like this stage of his career. And Carrigan going aggressive down through mid in this round. Actually only good for one. I thought he was going to chain together a little bit more, but somehow Config is just doing a great job of overstaying his welcome down here at Banana. Now there is Chris J hidden close, but Chris J is trapped by that. Oh my goodness, Config only had two shots left in the AK and he puts up the kill. I don't know, man. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near him right now. Config is in scary CS mode. We haven't seen this from him in a while. Look, he's looking for even more. Woxnik, don't go around the corner, please. I beg of you. Config's not in the mood to miss right now. He's on three, and this fourth has just been delivered to him. On for the ace. Robs is going to go save, so probably not going to give it over. But this is a scary-looking Config. This is a Config that shows up in this server and just dominates. This man does hold the uh, the record for kills in regulation. So For an online map. Yeah. And what is this, Harry? An online map. There you go. I mean, I guess his is like technically, yeah, like, okay, yeah, online. Yeah, no, wait, that makes sense. But it also just the most overall. Funnily enough, it was uh, in, yeah, the most overall, but, but you know. But online, but yeah, yeah. Online. LAN is like yeah. weighted. LAN, the okay. LAN record is 44. That was Crims at Pro League Finals last year. Uh, this is in regulation, I'm pretty sure. And then Config did 47 in overpass in the DreamHack. Ooh, I can't remember which event. I think it was yeah. a DreamHack qualifier. I casted it with Dust. I remember this was years ago. DreamHack qualifier was overpass many years ago. He was playing for Optic. So, yeah, 47 kills. That's certainly not bad. And Config, he's looking pretty damn fiery, if I can say so myself. Let's see if he can keep up this appearance here on the T side. 7 1 up, 12 and 3 on Config. The orbs are indeed about. Chris is going to molly mid, yet to kill. Those grenades are good though, and they'll put poison down low. We saw a bit of a mid push last round from Carrigan. He gets away with one before the punishment was found. Now, suppose they will be bringing aggression, but it's only down banana. Carrigan, very keen once again to take this control, but he will give it up as quickly as he takes it. I wanted to hang around, knowing how hard holding the banana can be. And you can already see complexity. They need logs, they molly it. They're being very careful. They're making sure the mouse boards don't have players deep down this area. Double bait and switch setup on long side with Woxic on the AWP as well. The complexity, though, they are just defaulting towards mid maps. They are more focused on taking B than anything in this round. Rush might give away a kill here in the boiler. There is a player above the Juliet balcony. A good off angle for Rops. The Rush. He ain't falling for it. I rotate back towards a four complexity. They leave Banana. Again, with how fast these rotations can be on Inferno, they can change their hearts and minds at a moment's notice. But right now, Cole are looking like they want that A site. Resmoke for Rops at a good time. He's going to drop with it. Smoke towards short and complexity. Here they come. Yeah, it's another one of these long wraps for complexity. They've been able to get away with a lot of movement over here towards long. And now they look to get in. Uh, see, look, there you go. There's the reconsider. They they changed their minds. And Moto Smoke has come in. And now they slow right down. And it's curious. They definitely could have tried splitting B. But with no banana control, they just decide to commit to A. And they try and run the gauntlet here. Rush is going to deal with Rops. But there's only seven seconds left. This bomb has got to get planted, and it's got to get planted now. Woxit could deny the entire oh! round. And it's the no-scope through the smoke that makes it so. Blame F even going down after time. That's a little bit devastating there of your complexity. Now sports do a good job at holding on to their utility to just hamstring that play to come down into the final, you know, 10, 15 seconds of the round. 
great round for Mouseports, and, and that's because Complexity have already run it, right? Mouseports are trying to adapt, they're trying to learn on the flyer, and these are very weird rounds of Counter-Strike Complexity are giving us, right? Like, five-man long rushes, trying to frank Moto to A-Site. It worked in the past uh, until Woxic shut it down, and Complexity this time it doesn't work either. Mouseports put that Moto smoke at the 22nd mark, and that is everything, right? Complexity can't go through it, they know there could be an AWP pit, they have to go background, and at that point they get ha hamstring for time. Now Mouseports have come alive, what is this? A flawless round so far. Blame alone. Mouse just find four kills out of nowhere. And, well, you'll take that every day of the week. Blame's going to look for whatever he can get here out of the boiler. He's being held alongside by this AWP. So if he goes through this doorway, it should be to his demise. Oh. Oh. I wouldn't want to go out again. I wouldn't right. want to take that peek again, man. You just, <laughs> you know who's fired that orb. You know who's looking at boiler. Blame F. 1v5. And he does put up the first, but there's the trade swiftly from Frozen. So now Sports starting to stumble back to their feet, feet, feet with an F. And their third, that's with a TH round on the board. Starting to see a little bit more confidence returning to Mouse, which is good. You know, no longer just hiding back in these bomb sites and kind of giving complexity the room to work with. That round there, they pick up the pace. It's a little bit worrying. Chris J still yet to frag, but there's always time for this man to turn it around. The nades have been good for Mouse. That's something I think we have to give them credit for in yeah. spite of this very good scoreline for complexity. They've been able to get away with so much util damage in the opening of these rounds, and this one is no exception. Already three players brought down low by these nades. Now, this is a bit of a weird one in the apartments. They're about to start to pressure Woxic, and you're very much reliant Ooh. on, well, A, him hitting that shot, and B, Rops keeping his eye on Boiler. Now that he's lost Woxic, he's got to concede the halls. He's got to back away. And so this is apps control taken for complexity. Something that's different to note in this round is that in the past, remember complexity have gone for these A plays? They've grouped all five players up here. And in this round, they haven't done that. Blame F is still waiting down towards T ramp and holding for any aggression. So this, one, this round right here could just be one of these A fakes with a late play back into B. And that's what it's looking like right now, Hugo. You read it perfectly, Harry. The smoke on long denies the mid info for mouse sports, but Carrigan is still there. And even though there are 3A, he's just cleared that position. The smoke's faded. He's running back to B, calling that mouse sports should be ready for a B play. Frozen's dropped his smoke, and now the knowledge is there. Mouse sports with almost a full rotation. Great read from Carrigan. Great information gained. Now complexity, they don't know it, but they're walking into a full setup from mouse sports. Frozen playing close, that smoke fades, here they come, the flash is good, Frozen has to hide at the back of the site, denied by the wall smoke config, with an entry on to Chris as well, Rush, he's been, uh, he's found Carrigan and Frozen, inside of the site on his own, can only find Rush, it's a single kill and nothing more, 10 seconds for the plant is enough time for Cole, and Rops won't stop it through the smoke, it's going to be a round for Cole once again, as Mouseports look to save their one weapon. That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, even though they stack the site. Complexity, crucial entries, config with a big opening kill onto Chris, who still remains 0-9, yet to kill. And that's proven to be a bit of a problem for Mouse Sports. See, one, like this complexity squad, I don't know about you, Hugo, but I really like this project, like the whole idea of it, right? I think that Blame F has like the potential to be one of the most exciting stories for like an individual for sure. in, in recent memory. Now, I can't think of a player who, when you when like you think about the experience he had relative to the moves that were made and him going out to NA, right, to like head this juggernaut team as it was, uh, as it was labeled and the kind of moves that came off the back of that. I, I think it's all so interesting, so cool. Like, I can't think of a player who just kind of rose up, didn't really have, like, the most experience under their belt and was suddenly just entrusted with, like, the leadership of of, of, of a team like this, right? Like, I can't think of anyone in the same position, no. can you? And no one is buff either, Harry. That's, no, no one looks like Blame the, Yeah, 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 that the is, room, like, the, the most the, crucial part. The, 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 yeah, man. Well, he's got the brains and the brawn, and very few have both. Yeah, that is a good point. 
Obo was nine. It makes you wonder, what is he lacking? You know, if he's got brains and brawn, got to be something on there that's not going his way. I don't know. I'm not going to work that one out. <laughs> Gangnam Style was... Uh, Obo was nine when Gangnam Style was released. That was a stat we just had. That makes me feel very old, Harry. But also... I mean, how old were you at Gangnam Style? I don't know. Not released? nine. I don't think. <laughs> Either way, I mean, very accomplished player for such a young age. Obo, only 16 years old here for Cole. And stuck over in Europe. Uh, Harry, as we are both men who are stuck in a, another country as well. Obviously, not, not another conf uh, continent, rather, like Russian Obo. But shout out to them for sticking through the tough times and playing in Europe and playing a lot of CS right now. I think that's why they're looking so good. They've been hounding these officials. So, more than well practiced are Cole. 8 3 up against Mouse Sports in a three man A setup. Cole have gone silent on B and come back towards A for a quick execute. Yeah, looking to pick up the pace and hit him back inside of the site. We're looking at Chris J, Rops, and Carrigan to try and hold the fort. And while they've traded evenly, but they need a little bit more than that out of Chris J now. And he's not able to put up the numbers needed. Still, zero kills to his name. 0 and 10 on Chris J, which is a little bit worrying now. Frozen and Woxic left in this 2v3 retake. And ah, it's only Woxic left. This is probably another save here for Maus. This is. A pretty dismal beginning to Inferno. Uh, one that just looks to get worse and worse by the round. Woxic, nice shot there onto Poison. Looking like he will get away with this AWP at the very, very least. But that's a pretty small consolation prize when you're 9-3 down. Complexity are just running the board, running this game. Yeah, it's certainly a grim reminder of where you're out, uh, where you're at. If you're mouse sports, right? Like it's not like you even ha haven't had rifle rounds. You've had plenty of money. You've been getting away with good saves. You've had Rob's ecoing on the deagle uh, in rifle round, in rifle round. Sorry, that's enabled buys. You know, you've had a lot of uh, attempts here if you're mouse sports, but complexity. Even when they're going into stacks, even when they're going into three-man bomb sites, regardless of whether that's A or B, they're seemingly always trading so effectively. I'm loving these executes. The smokes they throw on default on A not only give them the veil to part the bomb, but allow them to cross and, and fight pit without having to be killed by a site player. And mouse boards, they're running a lot of site plays. Right now, Complexity showing us a masterclass on the T side of Inferno. 9-3 up. AWP for Woxic once more. Poison has got his. The money has been good for Cole, unsurprisingly. Even if that head-to-head -head on the orb side has been so favorable for Woxic. I mean, every fight really has been favorable to Woxic. Change and config. Okay, yeah, I was worried because like last time we saw him kind of looking good over yeah. a banana. I, I have my oh. money on him hitting that second. Shot yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it was getting worried. Obo and Rush Ooh, and the rest nice of the game. gang, though. It's not B. That's not where they're looking to end up. Config was nothing more than a walk in, talking, fragging decoy. And boy, now the rooting, tooting, shooting cowboys over at the A bomb site for Mouse Sports. They'll put this fourth round up on the board. And. Uh, actually keep the majority of players alive. Chris J, welcome to the scoreboard, old friend. Two and 10, he puts up some numbers for us now. And that's always nice to see. See, maybe now that it isn't feeling like a four on five, if Chris J can actually, you know, build a bit of confidence, because sometimes that's all yeah. it takes, right? Sometimes you just break your little vow of silence and suddenly it becomes so hard to ever imagine that you were that quiet to begin with, right? So Chris J, hopefully we can see him return to four because, you know, I, I'm a big Chris J fan. I don't know about you. He's been like a long-standing mouse boards player now. He's been around the block and you really love him.
usually pretty consistent within wow. this squad. That's a big stat. Mal's had over a thousand utility damage in the first 11 rounds, but only had three to their name. I, I mean, that's this banana control, right? The amount of work that Carrigan and co have been throwing utility down B, getting great nades on logs. We even saw a great nade from Rops there. Short side hit three cold players. But the util has been good for Mal's There have been good signs, but complexity's brute force executes with, you know, five man setups, always grouping, never splitting. The only time we see complexity split in an execute is where they send Config in B and they hit A as a team. And that's fine. Config keeps players there. He often gets a kill as well. So, yeah, Col have been four or five man grouping in every hit. And that has put them in a great position. Mouseboards, Util down Banana, freeze up a rotation if they want. And they might need Chris Potts, a close player. Good grenade once again coming through on the short side. It's going to put a bit, a bit of damage down the way of that one AK. And that's the only armor we have. So Rush has to keep onto that right now. Mouseboard's playing very passive, giving Cole room on long, but only it's, uh, only for a bait and switch. Rops uh, getting assists, and Chris and Frozen will pick up the kills. The orb even fires off, and one by one, Cole are going to fall in this round. Nothing to their name, not a single point of damage, but it was only an eco round with a hero AK. Now they can buy up for the last of the half. And Mouseboard's, they can recover here. The six rounds, it's not the end of the world, right? You get a pistol, you convert it, suddenly you're in the same boat as Cole. You're just on the harder side to convert. So let's see what happens here for Mouseboard's. They're still in this game. Yeah, definitely still recoverable. And, you know, especially with a few key players starting to find their footing. One final hurrah for Complexity. One last investment here in round number 15 as they try and reach double digits before this half reaches its conclusion. And there is an early three-man stack at B for Mouse. So there's a, there's a timing. There's a world in which Complexity kind of beat them to the punch at this A bomb site. Now, Carrigan has already arrived, so he's back in. And alongside him is Frozen. This is because they've set up Woxic with the AWP at Banana. It allows for this four-man stack. Now, will these four players be ready for the sheer speed the complexity of dishing out in this round? Because they are already in the pit. They are hidden in this wall of smokes. This is such a confusing round, but somehow, some way, Mauser are looking to come out on top. Now, whether or not it's going to stay that way, we've got to wait and see. But Rops certainly he seems to think so. He's left it all on to blame. Well, we've got a little bit of mouse sports taking on complexity here to start our day. And currently, Hugo, as you can see, these betway odds are split right down the middle. That's because this game is actually feeling a little bit closer now. Now, complexity were kind of blowing mouse sports out of the water early on. The mouse sports, they've righted their wrongs and now they move into this T side. They're looking to get back into this game. Yeah, Blame's been dinked immediately on B. Config is hanging around. He's still here, and there's more utility for mouse spots on this pistol, much as there was on the CT side. This time, at least two Kevlar players. Cole have two more on B, and mouse spots, they're going for it. They're committing. Smoke's landing. Could use the same one that you, Cole used against them on the wall side. Blame F dropping one, though. Oboe here as well. Can't connect a couple of shots. The smoke is providing a bit of cover for mouse sports as they fire on through it, hitting the shots and pushing Blame to the back of the bomb site. This is falling apart for Cole. Blame needs to stay alive, but that P250 is lethal. And Rops makes good work with it. Rush on his own, been spotted. Plant can come through. And mouse sports at this point, it's a guaranteed round. Yeah, so this game going to get even closer here with seven now on the board for Maus and a pistol going their way. They can look to build upon this to try and tie things up here in the second half. They deal with Rush at the very, very end. And, uh, you know, now I'm kind of excited because in the beginning, it looked like mouse sports. They, 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 they maybe just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, right? A bit of a classic, you know, it takes you a few rounds to get into the swing of things. And, and to me, that's kind of even reinforced by the fact that, like, their utility was, was great. Their utility usage was unreal. But in terms of the head-to-heads, -head, in terms of actually winning the aim duels, they were just losing them every single time, right? But now it's like, it feels like there's a bit more confidence, there's a bit more consistency on Maus individually. And now this series has some real legs on it to get exciting, to get pretty fun to keep an eye on. And you can see a nade stack in this round for complexity. Kind of curious what they're looking to do with it. Three of them over here towards B. And Maus are stacked up towards this side of the map. Config has been flashed into the nines. He can't <laughs> see anything at top banana. Frozen does get tagged in the meantime as he tries to peek around this corner. That there was from the uh, Eagle back here in CT Spawn. So they will decide against that. They bow out from banana. They back away. 
And now they have their eyes set over here towards A. Poison and Rush to go up against. And they're already out past Poison. They've already dealt with him. This A site sure is looking tantalizing if you're carrying it in code. Yeah, I love the pace of Mouse Boss on these Antikos. Not waiting around, not letting these Deagles get comfortable, just speed. That's the uh, the aim of the game here for this T side. Bomb plant should be fine. Blame spots player on Long. He didn't see him, but Frozen's not going to turn around anytime soon to give him the battle. So Blame might just be locked out of this round, it seems. No one even giving up a fight. It's only one rifle in play, so Mouse Sports want to play it somewhat safe. And, I mean, they're already exiting from the bomb site, apart from Chris, so... Feeling like this one is a lock-in. Chris is just making sure no one's trying to the bomb, but Blame spamming with the D, using Chris's favorite trick against him, and he's going to hit the shot. Blame able to escape. He's being hounded down by another rifle. Woxix, oh, he does finish his job. And Mouseports, they'll rid the round of the eco. Now just comes one more for complexity before the guns are available on the CT side. Mouseports are going to make it 9-9. And I'm hoping that on this CT side, this is where we can see a bit more from Poison, right? Because he has been like a really exciting prospect to be keeping an eye on. He's another obvious EU import out into NA. Right now, Complexity, they're obviously in EU. Yeah. So that's kind of all flipped on its head. But yeah, he's a, he's a hot prospect. He's looked real good on this AWP. And obviously, T side orping on Inferno. Never fantastic, never too much fun. Let's see what Carrigan's the Eagle can do. He's getting a little bit overwhelmed, but he's helped out. Oh, Frozen. Uh, these are just pistols for Mouse. I kind of love it. I love the dedication yeah. to running pistols in these rounds. Just trying to save as much money as possible, right? Like, you know, they had three or four MAC-10s in that second round. Same story here. Like, not only are you making money, but you're saving money by not spending on rifles that you could easily lose, right? You couldn't very easily die to nade stacks, to USP double dinks, to anything in these rounds. So, yeah. Mouse reducing the cost that they have to invest in those risky rounds. And now, as a result, they can run bonus into this. Lack of armor and head armor is a big problem for complexity in this round, considering there's a Galil and two MAC-10s in play. Yeah, three of these players are vulnerable to it. And one of them is that AWP of Poison. He's set up over here towards Arch side with that AWP. So we'll keep him in the back of our minds. We don't have anyone for Mao's really going towards this A site just yet. So we're going to have to wait and see if that AWP gets to play into this round in a very big way or not. Interesting thing to note here is that Config and Blame F, the two players that currently reside in this B bomb site, neither one of them have smokes. So if a B play were to come through, they've got to stop this just on the back of these flashes and straight up gunfights. So that could be a potential liability for complexity in this round. It's a bit of a B fake by the looks of things, running back out of Banana after throwing Util. Carrigan might commit with his close wall smoke as he can get great value out of it, potentially in towards CT spawn if he beats the timing. And uh, Complexity have actually rotated Poison out of long towards CT. Now he can still rotate Library here, but he is peeled away for a, a brief moment in time. Carrigan's dead on B. That's the fate gone. Mousebots have to commit, and Complexity have not fallen for it. There's still three here. Mousebots have gone quiet. This almost feels obvious from this point for Cole, and they have to play very safe indeed. Util going down. Oboe, he's not got many kills, but he's got a lot of Util. Would ni be nice to see that some of that thrown out. And the Molotov will land after he takes a kill. Poison drops the bomb. And one by one, Mouse Sports are just falling apart in this round. They have barely any Util. They're walking into a stack. The B-Fake was not even close. And Complexity just hold the line down to find a 10th round. It's a save for Mouse Sports. Counter-terrorists win. Yeah, and a flawless round for complexity. Oh, hello. Hey, Rush, how you doing? We've had this camera for a yeah. couple of months now, so it's kind of cool, you know? I like that they've kept it going. I wonder if he knows that we can see him right now. I'd imagine so, Harry. Maybe not right this second. Maybe not he right this second. Camera. Just he gave us a little charming smile there. I imagine he was looking down the line at the rest of his team. Yeah. Maybe. But regardless, uh, his, team his playing, timing on that was impeccable. His team are playing from home. O the only people who are playing from home are Rush and Oboe. They are in yeah. Denmark in a facility. So in a facility. In a of some <laughs> sort. Uh, it Fast sounds play. so ominous. Chris yeah. J out in top mid. And he's opened up onto Rush, who now he's just got to sit back in the facility and watch. <laughs> As Obo tries to pick up the pieces. Poison inside of the site with this orb. We've been waiting for him to get rolling. Let's see it now, Poison. 
second kill. There's a man on balcony and Poison not ready, but he does get mopped up there by Obo in the site. Woxic and Frozen left in this two on four. And once again, Mouse Sports, they are set packing from this initial push. This time they've got time going their what? way. And a nice shot from Frozen has opened up this B bomb site. They've got to pick up the pace though. And no smoke for the cross. They flash over, but Woxic does not survive the journey. Frozen left in this 1v3. He opened up this, uh, this B-side take with a stellar shot onto Config. Now he's got to continue in that fashion to the very end of the round. There's a deep smoke in CT and Frozen's trying to keep an eye on it. Two players here make that just one as Frozen does strike one from the tally. That nade smoke has allowed the man to push up close and poison in through the banana will remove it. Complexity, yeah. an 11th round on the board. These CT rifles continuing to go their way. Woxic throws a very high flash into CT on that B cross because Mouse don't have a smoke and Blame was crouched in CT. That's, that flash misses by a centimeter. It just avoids Blame's vision behind one of the parts of the ruins. And if that hit him, Blame probably wouldn't have got away with a kill. They would have fragged him and Mouseports might have won that round in a two on two post part. So that could have been a very, very different round for Mouseports, but a nice try nonetheless. 11 for Cole on their map pick back in the lead. Not letting Mouseports equal up the score line here. Not again. Up by two and no warp here for Mouse. Back to the flat rifles, even a glill on Frozen. The costs are greatly outweighing the availability of Blamers. Dropped a grenade down Banana to well, out Carrigan from the round. That's not the start the Mouse Balls wanted. Frozen does get the trade at the very least, but all it is is a swap of an AK and now sports they swap the site so they go back towards A. It felt like the, it feels like this T side has somewhat been that. Now sports initial plans not working and them having to bail to the other bomb site where complexity are waiting. They certainly are this time. Blame is in CT. We've got Config on the coffins as well. And Mouseports are just going to group with four for a full B execute. If they can't win this round, then they're going to be in a, a, a lot of trouble. Even though they are a man down, like these are the ones, the BXX with Cold don't have a stack and they're giving you the site. These are the ones Mouseports need to win. Oh, and this Molotov has already done a great job of denying this B play. It's cut the offensive in half and everyone's just hung out to dry at Banana. Blame F. Ooh. Not like he was going to get flashed through there, but actually gets whited by his teammate. Falls back and just sets up for the retake. Now, I say retake. That's implying this bomb was ever going to get planted. However, Woxic took it back to Banana and tries to cross now that that smoke has faded. Rop's not even given a bomb plant in this one. And a 1v4 with 15 seconds left feels too good to be true. And that's because it probably is. Rob's might just want to think about going down at this point because he's running the risk of dying off the time. Complexity are just holding, knowing that they don't have to peek yet. Uh -oh. They swing on him. Yeah. They give him that one kill. They're trying to get it. And that was literally as the timer hit zero. So... I don't know. I don't think Rops did get money. For he had. To, he has the same money as as his team. So either he already had more money, or he he died before time. I actually, yeah. I, that was so down time. to the wire so, that I don't know. I think he did die before time. I think he was okay. Um, yeah. Poison right clicks a flash and spawn. He was meant to flash flame through the smoke, but it's not the end of the world as complexity win the round. And mouse balls. They really. They ah, smoke's a bit of problem for them, man. Frozen's already in the site trying to beat the Molotov, but his CT smoke isn't down. And I understand he wants to beat the molly but he's not looking at ct and that smoke doesn't pop in time and cole kills him before it does and then boom cole are a man up and there's two men up and then the smoke appears it's like okay what can mouseports even do like you said woxic he crosses back to banana comes back with a bomb smoke fades again mouseports lose a the bomb they lose the round so yeah i mean complexity kind of having it fed to them at times it does feel i'll take this though 12 9 up on the ct side mouseports have to eco once again this would certainly be a shame to see Mouseports fall this way after winning, you know, you know, clawing it back to a decent half and then winning the pistol and getting 9-9. They've been quiet ever since. Mouseports, they are five men up in the A site right now. No util to do anything. It's about dry fights, but that's where this orb is going to be so effective for poison and on the long side as well. Mouseports are tempted by it. 
gonna jump around the corner. Poison hits the first, tries to follow up, but they're getting closer. He can't afford to give them this orb. It could get, oh, dangerous, but a two for one attack. Got the Carrigan cleaned up by the pistol. Boxing will trade, that's his gun of choice, but Rush doesn't want to let them cross towards it. He will deny it. His teammate now on the site doing that instead. Rush can pivot and look at the apartments. Chris is there, and he's given away his position as well. Walks it with a kill, still hasn't got that orb under control. Chris is dead, and Rush denies the pickup of the orb. Nice stuff from Rush. Doesn't let Walks it get into that round, and of course, Poison with three on the AWP. It's going to put complexity in a nice dominant lead here. 13 9 up on the CT side. And man, this is a complexity that mean business right now. Mouse Sports, this could be their, their last real attempt at turning this game around. If they don't pick this round up, it might all be out the window and poison with some aggression into the apartments. Not something we've seen from him yet. And Rob certainly wasn't ready for it. That is an early man advantage taken. That is untradeable for Mouse Sports. They try and get the spam damage off as poison exits through the apartments, but he's already gotten away. This one slipped through the net, whether or not Mouse Sports are ready or not. And now with this bomb retrieved, they're going to set up over here on Banana. They've completely given up this top mid and apps control. They never even attempted it after Rops has fallen. They try and flash Blame F into Banana. Now at the same time, a smoke has fallen at the top of B, but now Sports, they wasted absolutely no time in pushing through it. And that kill from Carrigan, that felt like a must have. If they get that one, I feel like Mouse Sports could take this round because suddenly they've got an avenue into the site. They've got Gompig having to worry about CT and Banana. And with it not coming through, it's now a three on three, but they've at least dealt with Config inside of B. So a bomb plant is available to Mouse. They've got a chance. Oof. Oh, it's, it's not pretty. Run. You don't love it. And Woxley gets burnt very, very low, leaving the pool. This is still a scary round for Mowers, even with the bomb planted, because Complexity are here. They've been knocking on the door for a while, and they're kind of sick and tired. They're going to brute force their way in. Yeah, Rush is really late here trying to clear out Banana, and that's why this is taking so long, but they're going to make contact first with Poison. He swapped out the orb, and so Mouseballs don't know Obo is also here. Rush is spotted, and he gets a kill. Doubles up. Rush just wins around on his own. No util needed. He has a full kit of util, and he just takes dry fights into B and closes out a retake versus Mouseballs. Like, complexity, they've got to be feeling good right now because not even having to resort to, to what are our safe plays, what are ways to guarantee rounds. They're just taking fights, Harry. They're just death matching, and it works wonderfully. Complexity, two away from taking their map pick in this series. Dust 2 is around the corner for Mouse Sports, but while it's a great Mouse Sports map, it's a great complexity map as well. So Mouse Sports certainly have to be worried, wanting to try and pull this game back here still, but yet to win a T-Rifle round in this game. Oh, and Poison back again with the aggression. This time he's going to catch Woxic down in alt mid, lining up a smoke, no less. Woxic was not ready for that again. This aggression makes matters very complicated now for Maus. And they spot Rush. They're not quite able to deal with him up in the apartments. This is kind of horrible because Maus, they clearly had a game plan, right? They had Woxic lining up utility. I think they were going to try and fast explode into this A-bomb site. And now on the back of losing him, they're still committing to it. They're still trickling out into this, uh, into this top mid area. But it's taken a lot of the momentum out of this round. They lose one of their smokes. They lose the utility that Woxic had in a round that Maus boards didn't have everything in. You look at what they've gained for it. Well, they're very much relying on just winning these fights straight up. And Blame Ooh. F and Rush, they're doing a good job of holding this back right nice. now. Blame F not moving. And a second kill found leaves all the pressure onto Rops in a 1v3. Yeah, and I don't think he realizes he's killed everyone short side. He was looking at short for a second there, but a part was available in that clutch. I want to clarify something. I've, I've seen a few questions from people, right? That little map graphic up at the top right of our screen, Hugo. I've seen people asking as to why, like, the, the highest seeded teams look like they get two picks. Not the case. It's because Mouse Sports were the last team to ban. And so, therefore, it says that they picked it up in that top right, right? Yeah. Because they had the choice of what map it went to. It two they banned the last map. Yeah. So, in a way... They kind of picked that, but it is just the decider map, right? It is just the third of uh, the third of final deciding map. Mouse had to say where it went to, and that's how they've been doing it here. But I've seen that, you know, I've been tweeted it. I've seen like 
Brilliant. few threads about it just asking. So there you go. Just to tie that one together for anyone wondering. Man, with all the answers here, Mouseboards might want to recruit him. They need some answers right now. 15 rounds for Cole, looking to take us to Dust2, push us over the line. Good spray from Blaine, but they actually find nothing. The bullets were there. Mouseboards were hiding, flashed out. They will push again off the back of the flash, blinding Cole, but still losing their life, still losing the fight, and still losing the map. What's it